What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I promised you guys that I would be doing my predictions for Backlash. So if your predictions are different than mine, then comment down below what are your predictions for WWE Backlash. Now I noticed that yours are different than mine. Please forgive me if like I'm a mess right now because I look like a total wreck right now. As you can tell by the back that I got my WWE collection all set up and it's full of WWE figures, pictures, even the championship belts, and even the Money in the Bank briefcase. It's right over here. It's right here. We'll get it. Let's jump into the predictions. So the first match I want to talk about is Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. Now, I'm pretty sure that Roman Reigns is going to win this one because Samoa Joe has moved to SmackDown Live and I'm guessing that he won't be dealing with Roman Reigns anymore since he's on SmackDown Live and I've been thinking to myself like if Roman Reigns is facing someone new like is he still gonna face someone new or is he still gonna face Brock Lesnar because I hope that he doesn't face Brock Lesnar again because I've seen it enough and I still want Roman Reigns to win at Backlash, but I want Roman Reigns to fight a new challenger, you know? Like, just be on his own and, like, do a one-on-one -on -one competition or something like that. Just go with it. So, I'm pretty sure Roman Reigns is going to win this match. Then we have Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton. And this is the match that I'm really excited for because... This is the first time that Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton have faced in nearly 8 years, I believe. They fought in 8 years or 10. But yeah, this is very exciting because they haven't faced each other in like, in a decade. Because this is really a tough decision for me to make because I love both Orton and Hardy. But in my opinion, I would say... Oh boy... Oh, either I want Jeff Hardy to retain or Randy Orton to win for the gold. Oh my gosh. I would say Jeff Hardy to win. Jeff Hardy to retain the United States Championship. You know, even though I love Randy Orton, but Jeff Hardy has to retain the United States Championship. Then we have Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss. And obviously Nia Jax is going to win this championship match and retain the gold. Then we have Seth Rollins versus The Miz. Obviously, Seth Rollins for the win. Then we have Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley versus Cammy, also known as Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Obviously, Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley, they're two of the greatest. Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley for the win. Then we have Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass, and Big Cass is like, really, bro? Really? Us SmackDown Live, like, with a freaking midget, that's... I, I call that BS. I still have high hopes that Daniel Bryan might win this one. But, Big Cass might win this one. But Daniel Bryan can take out anybody, right? From Big Show to Mark Henry. He defeated two giants in a steel cage. So, I'm guessing Daniel Bryan for the win. Because I have that poster which says yes, yes, yes from that wrestling club box. We have the SmackDown Women's Championship match between Carmella and Charlotte Flair. Now, this is the match that I wanted to get to. If there's gonna be like involvements, like the Iconics, Becky Lynch and Asuka, if they get involved, there's a 50-50 chance that Carmella might retain the championship, but Charlotte, she's indeed the queen. But I'm going to say Charlotte will the win. Hopefully there are no involves. Hoping that the Iconics don't get involved because they remind me of Lay Cool, first of all. And second, they're annoying. And third of all, just, just no. I still think the Iconics are unexpected to go to SmackDown. Like, unique. Then we have AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura in a no disqualification match for the WWE Championship. 
Oh boy. How many low blows are we gonna see from Shinsuke? None. I am getting sick and tired of Shinsuke Nakamura giving after low blow, after low blow, after low blow. Just stop, bro. I just hope that AJ Styles can get revenge by giving Nakamura a low blow. I'm gonna say AJ Styles for the win. I mean, if Shinsuke wins though, get this, Shinsuke Nakamura used to be my favorite. And somehow at WrestleMania, what the heck? So that's my predictions for Backlash. And if you've been following my last video, the Rat Wrestling Club subscription box, I already made the announcements that I am doing a live stream for WWE Backlash. And there are surprises at the stream. Like some surprises that there will be some alerts. Yeah. That, that we'll be doing and the alerts are surprises so make sure you go to my stream turn on the notification bell and give this video a big thumbs up and also give the stream a big thumbs up as well if you're joining the stream as well and also comment down below what are your predictions for WWE Backlash because I am super excited I put a lot of effort and work into it like I worked so hard for the stream that I wanted to like do something very entertaining, very interesting, and hopefully that I don't get sick. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday.